guys we got something here that I I just usually don't buy but Boston Blade Reviews bought one of these and he was highly impressed with it and sent me the link and I thought hey why not I'll try this out and uh, see what it's like um, let's see what's in here let's open this bad puppy up and we'll, we'll use a barlow to open it up because I think there's a barlow in here so just don't want to tear the package at all so what do we got here we got the Culpepper 4383 there's that just a Kershaw knife again I usually don't buy Kershaw's I don't even, I don't even know if I got one honestly I'm sure I do but so let's look at what we got here we got the Kershaw boy I don't want to come out of there must be oiled pretty good Kershaw call pepper Barlow. Let's check the fit and finish here. I really liked it because when he sent it to me, he sent me a video, and I really like the uh, brass spacers here, and then the brass pins. And he talked about the the fit and finish, and really, it is really smooth. Like you don't feel any of those pins. Uh, you don't you got very smooth transitions into your bolsters. And let's open her up here and get a first impression. I don't. So we've got a decent lock up. Good walk and talk. Doesn't have half stops, but I don't think it really needs it. It is got the model number on it there again, 4383 KAI. Of course, well, let's see if we can get her to to focus. I just don't think it's going to. Got her made in China there. Got a long nail pull. Oh, there you can see it pretty good. So yeah, long nail pull on each side, which is kind of interesting. Let's look at this because this Barlow, you know, this case Barlow just has it on one, but it's a two-bladed Barlow. And the only other single-bladed Barlow I have is this AG Russell Green River Works. This knife right here is just ugh, junk. But anyway, let's check the centering just a little bit to the left there there really isn't a show or pile side on well I, I I would call it a pile side but I don't know the got the information on this side so maybe it's supposed to be called the show side I don't know but we're just a little just a hair to the left but not well maybe not even no I think we're pretty well centered all the way through there maybe it's just the way the camera was looking but I'm looking at it outside the camera now and it's pretty centered again the the, I really like the brass liners on it. We've got some jimping on the back. You can choke up really easy. Hold it right there like that. And I think he, he said that um, that isn't my card. He said it was G10. And then we got some more writing on the box here. You guys want that information. But this knife, uh, when he told me what it cost, I was like, i got to go on Amazon and get one. It was... Uh, I think $29 and some change. So under $30. And next day shipping. My wife used her Prime account. And we just ordered it yesterday while we was eating breakfast. And it came there just a little bit ago. But yeah. Great fit and finish on this. Great fit and finish. Yeah. She is she's centered pretty good. For a $30 knife. So let's, let's do something. That's uh, something I don't do with all the knives I get, but let's, oh, she's sharp. She is sharp. So, yep, from the factory, cuts like that. I'd call that a, I don't know, probably, it's not as sharp as what the Buck 110 was, but probably a, I want to say six and a half, seven on the the Big J sharpness scale, I would call it. But yeah, this thing just doesn't like to focus. But yeah, on this side we got. You know, I don't know why it just won't focus. There we go, we got Kershaw right there. The model number. Yeah, pretty. Pretty. Look at that. No gaps.
whatsoever. No gaps whatsoever. And let's compare it to this one. This thing's Gap City. Look at the centering on that. That's pretty good, ain't it? Yeah, that's, that's awesome. <laughs> but yeah, guys, hey, for $29 and some change, we've got the lanyard hole. Put a lanyard on there. All in all, a good deal. All in all, a very good deal for, for like I said, under $30. And it reminds me, i got to go buy the, the surgeon's knife, uh, Rosecraft Blade surgeon knife, sometime today. So Got to get on Blue Creek. I think Blue Creek got some of those in. But, guys, hey, it's a winner in my book. Definitely a winner in my book. Yeah. Head on over there to Amazon and get you one of these. Tell them Big J sent you. <laughs> All right, guys. Stay sharp and stay strong.